Now, Stormy Daniels referenced that hush payment from President Trump's former attorney in a lawsuit she filed against Columbus Police. Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, sued the agency back in 2018. Tonight, 10 Investigates is taking a closer look at the legal fight that cost the city nearly a half a million dollars. His chief investigative reporter, Bennett Haverly. Uh, watch your head going in, okay? Stormy Daniels' arrest in July of 2018 at the Siren Strip Club drew national headlines and at the time created increased scrutiny on the activities of the now dismantled vice unit of Columbus Police. I'm, I'm Detective Rosser. Former Detective Steve Rosser arrested Daniels, citing a rarely used Ohio law that forbids exotic dancers from touching patrons unless they're members of their own family. Internal emails show city prosecutors had warned Rosser years prior that citing the law could be tricky because undercover detectives could not be considered patrons. In Canton, did anyone explain to you that you're not permitted to even put your hand on a patron's shoulder? No. Okay, so that's a, a misdemeanor of the fourth degree. An internal police investigation determined Daniel's arrest was improper, but that it was not pre-planned. That's despite internal emails that showed detectives shared a picture of Trump and Daniels and a map of where she planned to perform. Months before her arrest, Daniels had gone public with allegations that she had been paid hush money to keep quiet about an alleged sexual affair she had with Trump in the mid-2000s. Daniels sued the city of Columbus, alleging that three of the officers involved in her arrest were Republicans and entered into a conspiracy to arrest her in retaliation for the public statements she made regarding Trump something the detectives denied in interviews with internal affairs investigators. Did you make any type of verbal comment or assert a personal bias or political motivation about being a pro-Trump supporter or anti-Stormy Daniels opponent? Never. Did you hear Detective Keckley specifically make a remark or statement that would raise question about her actions being driven by personal or political motivations? No, she just gets excited about her job. Downey's lawsuit against the city was later settled for $450,000. A city council ultimately approved that settlement. Two of the officers involved, including Detective Rosser, were later fired by the city. The vice unit was dismantled roughly eight months after Daniel's arrest.